Hello everyone, welcome to another episode at Reco Rush Gaming. Shortly after some of us pop to the bank to get a loan and return to get your hands on the latest set of clothing in State of Survival, the Generation 3 aircraft is launched in a whole host of states. Needless to say, this gorilla was not prepared while still admiring my new clothing. <laughs> And state of survival when like Oops, I After spending a few days researching and testing the latest Generation 3 aircraft, I am finally ready to make this video, which I hope you will find to be informative and useful. These sort of features are expensive to buy and difficult to test, so if you enjoy these sorts of contents that I make, then don't forget to like the videos and smash on the subscribe button to show this gorilla some love. So the first question I ask myself is, what are the benefits of having the aircraft Generation 3? Well, there are actually benefits to both rally leaders and rally joiners. As the rally leader, activating the Gen 3 aircraft using the talent attack system brings the benefit of launching a rally or when acting as the garrison commander. The attack amplification when maxed to a 6-star aircraft is increased to 7.5%. Meanwhile, as a rally joiner, using the Hawkeye targeting system when joining a rally, attack amplification when maxed to a 6-star aircraft is increased to 3.9%. The third talent, the Iron Bastion defense system, there is no benefit for either rally leader or rally joiner so please for goodness sake never use the third talent no god please no 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 Separately, you should know that as long as you use either Generation 1, Generation 2 or Generation 3 aircraft in your march, the total squadron power starts will be added to your battle stars. So this means just by upgrading my Gen 3 aircraft to level 4 stars, I've added 145.6% to my health and lethality starts. Therefore, even if I'm using Gen 1 aircraft or Gen 2 helicopter in solo or rally, it adds the Gen 3 aircraft starts onto it. This, if you're a low spender to mid spender, you should focus on upgrading the Gen 3 aircraft because even at the lower star levels, the cost of aluminium alloys and stealth coating is pretty decent in comparison to the aircraft and helicopter at higher levels. So next question to myself will be, what's the difference between aircraft Gen 1 versus aircraft Gen 3? The Gen 1 aircraft maximum health and lethality is at 135.3%. Meanwhile, the Gen 3 aircraft maximum health and lethality is 246.7 percent it's an increase of 111 percent the gen 1 aircraft maximum rally leader attack amplification is 6.24 percent meanwhile the gen 3 aircraft rally attack amplification is 7.5 percent the gen 1 aircraft maximum joiner rally attack amplification is 2.6 percent while the gen 3 aircraft joiner rally attack amplification is 3.9 percent so that's a no-brainer right the gen 3 aircraft is going to be superior which is typical of state of survival. <laughs> Then I come to the third question, how do I get these components to upgrade the Gen 3 aircraft? Through Paxify, I tell you. Have you heard of Paxify? It's this amazing cool service that lets you buy your bundles at the US dollar prices no matter where you live. So you can skip any digital taxes and save your money. On top of that, depending on which country you're from, you can save up to 35% with Paxify. With Paxify special spicy Friday offers, if you put in $2,000 in your Paxify wallet, you'll get even more savings and bonuses. So what are you waiting for? Check out Paxify using the link in the description below and start saving yourself a bucket loads of monies. Thank you to Paxify for sponsoring this video. Sadly, there is only one way for free to play to obtain the aluminium alloys and the stealth coating as of right now. That is through the exchanging super alloys and special coating for Gen 3 aircraft components. We used to have the solo assault mission which are available to the survivors community between Monday 
Monday to Friday on a weekly basis. Then we used to have the second method being the coordinated operation missions which were available to survivors community on Saturday and Sunday on a weekly basis. So expect some significant complaining by the community, then something may be released, so watch out for that space. Resend this absurd charger, I will post a negative review on screen. At this stage, you can only buy the limited offer FA1 Spectre bundles which are refreshed daily. Then as you upgrade the aircraft, I notice every time you progress to the next star level, there is a special limited offer bundles for 24 hours. The most cheapest purchase method available is going to be via the FA1 Spectre growth bundles. For $20, you will get double the materials than buying them in the limited offer FA1 Spectre growth bundles. Yes, you will only get them throughout time, but since it's refresh weekly, it will be rewarding for those whom can be more patient. Finally, at launch, there is the aircraft research event where upgrading your Gen 3 aircraft components will bring some rewards in return. It's not great, but if you're already spending money to buy the FA1 Spectre growth bundles, then you might as well grab these freebies. In total, this new feature would cost someone buying all the bundles between $2,000 to $2,500 depending on how quickly you choose to max the Gen 3 aircraft. Finally, my last question. If I was free to play all those spenders, what is the right upgrade path for the aircraft components? I would prioritize infantry health and hunter lethality first over all others, especially for free to play and low spenders, but don't keep the gap too wide. I would propose to upgrade at a gap of 5 incrementals at all times. As you can imagine, these sort of videos are extremely challenging to make, so do me a favor and smash the subscribe and slap the like button. Thank you for watching. I'll smell you soon for another video. Goodbye.